Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Shatoya Jabatis, a young St. Lucian dancer, is blazing a trail in the art form. Her SHR experience classes are being praised for allowing participation from anyone who's interested in dance, regardless of whether they have experience or not. She is now preparing for an annual showcase and she spoke out on the need for development in the local dance industry. Shaka Wooding reports. Born and raised in St. Lucia, 23-year-old U.S.-based choreographer Shatoya Jabatis says her passion for the arts ignited at the tender age of seven. She now resides in Baltimore, Maryland, where she studies theater design and production. After her studies, she plans to return to her island home full-time to help develop the performing arts industry. Making strides to recognize this dream, her most recent accomplishment has been the creation of her dance brand called Shure, where she showcases her Caribbean choreography on social media through dance classes which she conducts. Having performed all over St. Lucia, the Caribbean, and in the USA, Jabaptis says the show experience affords her the opportunity to educate local dancers on the international industry and means for advancement through her own personal experience. So Shu is actually um, a dancer and choreographer who focuses on bringing people together, bringing dancers together, breaking the barriers in the dance community in St. Lucia. And this is one of the main reasons I want to do the Shu experience. I feel like more can be done with dance in St. Lucia. And the Shu experience is all about a culture exchange, about networking, about bringing all these different dance groups together to prevent, again, the barriers. Um, the show experience creates an avenue for sharing dance culture and building networks in local, regional and international dance communities. Jabaptis says having been exposed to unsafe stages, unfit changing rooms and lack of basic equipment, she remains concerned for the facilities currently available for dancers in St. Lucia. The focus or should I say the main reason behind the show experience is um, to create that support for the dance community in St. Lucia. So the monies from the ticket sales would go directly into the dance community where I'll be purchasing dance gear, dance necessities, yes, for dancers in St. Lucia. So it is all for good cause. The full day workshop is slated for Saturday, January 11, 2020 at the Sportivo Gym in Rodney Heights and will provide dancers with the opportunity to practice various dance genres such as Afrobeat, Soca, hip-hop, dance hall, and the popular St. Lucian traditional folk dances in classes taught by five international and local choreographers. For 7 News, I am Jacques Oding. Tell a girl, I'm out in the bubble. Bend, bend, dong, na, na, na. Touch your toes, na, na, na. Hey, I'm gonna make you sing, na, na, na. Queen of Grosley and recently crowned Caribbean talented teen Queen Cassandra Edwards says young people should make it their 2020 resolution to adopt positive habits and attitudes. Edwards, who has a background in theatre, strongly believes that the involvement in the arts could help resolve several social ills plaguing the youth of the Caribbean. From her days at the St. Joseph's Convent, Cassandra Edwards has been heavily involved in the arts and the community volunteering. She says her pageant journey has afforded her the opportunity to marry the two, as she will use her platform to embark on various youth charity projects aimed at increasing the involvement of young persons in the arts during her double reign as the Queen of Grizzly and the Haynes Smith Caribbean Talented Team. Edwards, who has personally seen the benefits of theatre arts on her academic and social development, says simply beyond keeping them occupied and out of trouble, involvement in theatre fosters holistic development. It is an opportunity for you to express your feelings, portray who it is that you are, and put on different characters that can be very, it's very therapeutic and also help with persons that have self low self-esteem, if you have emotional problems, trauma, um, theatre arts helps with that. And being the Caribbean talented team, I do want to keep in touch with my fellow delegates throughout the region and see if we can come together to spread positivity, good words, and everything throughout the region and not just in St. Lucia. Edwards encourages young people to remain consistent and genuine above all, especially in situations of social adversity. I always say everything happens for a reason. And now I will be saying it's important to be consistent and that consistency is key. That is something that I have learned through Grosley and the Caribbean Talented Team. And to be consistent in life, that is very important. You have to go anywhere with your career 
dreams, you need to keep at it and keep working hard on what you want to achieve. I've also learned that it's important to stay humble. Humility is key. You never know what is going to happen. So you're going to have to be nice to whoever it is that you want. Be genuine about it. Don't put on a fake smile. You want to be somebody that people can remember and aspire to be like. Edward says she is eager to reach out to various local agencies in order to spearhead her youth projects in her country and the wider Caribbean. For Hot 7 News, I am Jaco Wooding. Reducing the National Food Import Bill has been high on the agenda for the Ministry of Agriculture. The launch of the Fruit and Vegetable Import Substitution Program was implemented in hopes of bringing about this reduction. Seven crops were identified for increased production in St. Lucia in hopes of making a dent in the food import bill. Minister for Agriculture Ezekiel Joseph notes the support the island has received from its allies in making the move a reality. We have gotten support from the government of Taiwan and we are very grateful for the support, both technical and financial support. And we have developed a free program. We have identified the farmers already. We have trained extension officers. We have trained the farmers. And now we are now putting down some new technology as it put into greenhouse so we can demonstrate to the farmers how we can, you know, be able to cultivate. During the period it is most needed and that's the rainy period which of course traditionally is from July to December. The impetus for the Ministry of Agriculture remains to eat fresh St. Lucia's best. A host of farmers markets were executed in 2019 to draw interest to the seven crops, namely pineapples, cabbages, sweet peppers, tomatoes, honeydew, lettuce and watermelon. On a look back at production, National Coordinator for Fruit and Vegetable Import Substitution Project, Adline Yudovic, says the demand for the seven crops surpassed the supply capacity of local farmers. These crops are crops that farmers have been producing for a long time in St. Lucia, and the farmers have the technical savvy of, how to, of production of these crops. So it's crops that we have deemed important, traditional crops, if you will, and also crops that they have the ability to produce the However, right now we do have issues that all of these crops, we don't have full-time production, as in the consistency in supply is an issue, where um, we have times of the year, due to our open field agriculture and also the different methods used by the farmers, um, production. Ministry of Agriculture officials have outlined 2019 as a year of massive expansion for the sector. Though the industry faced many challenges, they say there have been equal successes. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us. Sports and weather are all coming up after the break.